In 1987, Capcom made an arcade fighting game called Street Fighter as a response to Data East karate champ and Konami's ER Kung Fu. It involved Ryu and Ken as they fought street fighters from around the world in order to become the king of the hill. Capcom originally wanted to make a sequel called Street Fighter 89, but that game became Final Fight, which was a beat-em-up game like Technos' Double Dragon rather than a one-on-one -on -one fighter. Luckily, Capcom decided to give it another go, and in 1991, they released Street Fighter 2. This game fixed a lot of the issues people had with the original Street Fighter, mainly the controls, while also adding a selectable character roster with each character having their own special moves. Naturally, the game was more successful than the original, leading to a ton of fighting games throughout the 90s, including Midway's Mortal Kombat and SNK's Art of Fighting. In 1992, while Capcom released Street Fighter II Champion Edition to celebrate, Nintendo released Super Mario Karts for the Super Famicom and Super Nintendo. It was a major success and became one of the most beloved multiplayer experiences for the system. Around the same time, bootleg video games for the family computer and Nintendo Entertainment System were running rampant, especially in non-Japanese East Asian markets, mainly China. And one company is infamously known for some of these bootleg games. That company's name is Hummer. Now, it was 1993, and Hummer knew that Super Mario Kart and Street Fighter II were huge successes, and it would be very easy to profit off of both of them. However, they made a very interesting choice. They decided to pop both games in a blender and create a little something for the family computer called Kart Fighter. <laughs> Now, I don't have an original copy for my family computer, and I don't have a reproduction cartridge for my NES. However, I am able to play the game thanks to the FCEU GX emulator for my Nintendo Wii, which, by the way, is a really excellent emulator for those of you out there who are interested. So, let's turn on my Wii, boot up the emulator, and review Kart Fighter. Now we're ready to play. Like I said before, this game combines elements from both Street Fighter 2 and Super Mario Kart, hence the name Kart Fighter. The game is basically Street Fighter 2 on the NES, but with assets from Super Mario Kart. It uses the same best of three wins system seen in Street Fighter 2, and the two basic attacks for each character is a kick and a punch. Unlike Street Fighter 2, which will use six buttons for three different strengths of punching and kicking, Kart Fighter only has one type of punch and kick, since the family computer and NES controllers only had two buttons. Luckily, each character has their own set of special moves, with everyone having a Hadouken-style attack that's executed by doing the same button combo, down, down forward, forward, punch. I was able to figure out some of their other special moves, while I think there are a few others I still haven't figured out yet. When the game starts, you have the option to choose from five difficulty levels, the default being level three. Of course, like Street Fighter 2, there's a character select screen to choose your fighter. Impressively, there's actually a two-player mode. I wasn't able to get any footage of it, but a second player can actually select a character on the character select screen, allowing for two people to battle each other, and that's a plus. Gross! <laughs> All the characters from Super Mario Kart are here, however, all their names are different from what most people may be used to. Mario is referred to as Marie, Marie! Shut up, May. even though Luigi is still called Luigi, and Mario and Luigi have the same number of letters, but whatever. Yoshi is referred to as Yasi, which is actually how his name was spelled on the box art for the Japanese version of Yoshi Island. Donkey Kong Jr. is referred to as Donkey, probably because Donkey Kong Jr. would be too big to fit in the name bar. And finally, Koopa Troopa and Toad are correctly referred to by their Japanese names, Noko Noko and Kino Pio. Luckily, Peach and Koopa's names remain the same. They also redid some music from Super Mario Kart. However, like with what Hummer did with Somari the Adventurer in 1994, the timing of the music is slightly different from the original tunes they are based on. Nonetheless, the music here sounds pretty good. Just take a listen.
So what do I think of Kart Fighter? Well, I'm very happy to say that this game is an example of an actually good bootleg video game for the family computer and NES. The controls are responsive, the music sounds good, and it isn't hard to pull off special moves, unlike the original Street Fighter. Ah, don't even get me started with that one. Lastly, the two-player mode allows you to share the fun with a friend, which is always a must in a fighting game. This game is definitely worth checking out if you're interested, and should be accepted as a classic by all 8-bit Nintendo lovers everywhere. So Kart Fighter gets an approval from me. Thank you everyone for watching, I'm Andrew Ambrose, and I'll catch you later.